Hello. I would like to continue our conversation about the ascension process, but today I would like to speak about how it will be affecting you physically, mentally, and emotionally as it begins to happen, as it begins to take over. The change in frequency in your physical body will affect you in many different ways, but the first and foremost will be extreme fatigue. The shift in vibration within your physical container will mean that you are vibrating much faster than you typically do, and this will require adaptation of your physical container to the new frequency that it holds within it. And this may lead to several symptoms, fatigue being the main symptom, especially that your channel faces on a daily basis. Fatigue is normal and natural, and listen to your body when you feel this way. Take the time to rest and recuperate. Change your physical activity. Do not exert yourself more than you need to and sleep. Sleep when it is needed. Hydration is extremely important throughout this process. Hydration helps the body adapt to the newfound frequency that it holds within it. You may also find that there are other symptoms that are happening and taking place within you at this time. Headaches and dizziness and nausea are all symptoms that you may be experiencing at this time. This is because you are opening up to the frequencies of a higher vibration and this can affect how your crown chakra feels at this time. You may begin to feel it opening. You may begin to feel the vibration rise within you and this can have the consequence of fatigue drowsiness and discomfort in the head and crown area. You may find that you are more emotional at this time than usual. Your emotions may go up and down and this is because you are calibrating to a newfound way of being. Your likes and dislikes are beginning to change. The way you see the people around you are beginning to change. The way you see yourself is beginning to change and this requires adjust adjustment and you may experience ups and downs emotionally where you need to recalibrate and regulate in a way that you did not need to before. Some people in your life may press your buttons in ways that they never did before. Some people in your life may feel that they do no longer resonate with you and this is okay. Allow this to be okay. As you shift and change, the people around you will need to shift and change too and some will and some will not and the ones that will will remain in your life and the ones who do not may not feel like they resonate with you and Anymore and allow this to be okay. You may find that your diet will need to change as well. You may need to eat different types of foods, foods that are more whole and healthy, fruits and vegetables, grains, things that come from the soil, things that are no longer man-made. You may crave more fiber in your diet. You may crave more protein in your diet. Listen, listen to these signals that your body is telling you. The food that is more processed, the food that has more oils and fats in it, the food that is fried or more breaded may, longer, may no longer suit your needs. It may make you feel sick. It may make you feel drowsy and tired. It may make you feel lethargic and low energy in a way that it did not before. These are all changes that you are noticing take place in your body. And this is important to follow these needs that your system is asking you for because this is all a symptom that you are changing and your body is in need of different things than it did need before. Fluctuation in weight is another byproduct of this process. Sometimes you will find that there are changes taking place around you that cause you emotional distress and this will create a craving to eat more food than you typically do, or less food than you typically do. This is normal and we ask that you allow grace for your newfound desire to satisfy how you're feeling emotionally. Be graceful with yourself. Show your self-compassion at this time. Make the foods available to you that you desire to eat and be grateful for this newfound way of being as you begin to navigate this new way of being. You may be surprised to find that your change in stature does not bother you in the same way that it once did, and your desire to appear a certain way is no longer as important to you as it once was. This is, again, part of the process. You are learning to be a different way than you were before. You are learning to see 
things and people and yourself in a different way than you did before. And this will lead to changes in habit, changes in the way you view yourself, changes in the way you decide to show up in the world. And this is all part of the process. And we ask that you navigate it slowly and at your own pace because it will feel different. You will feel like perhaps you are becoming apathetic, but this is not the right term. This is just simply how you are perceiving it. You are learning to disassociate from what the ego mind wanted before and what the ego mind wanted no longer is desirable to you. You are seeing through the human desire and you are seeing into a deeper meaning that you crave for yourself in this lifetime and that is a beautiful thing. As your vibration begins to rise, as your body begins to adapt to this new frequency that it begins to hold, you will find that you no longer need as much fuel. You no longer need to feel full like you did before. You will crave lighter foods. You will crave more water. You will crave more liquid diet. And this is normal. This is okay. This is to be expected. As your frequency rises, the density of the foods you eat will begin to change and you will start to crave foods that are lighter, foods that do not fill you as much and you will want to be active, but in different ways than you were before. The activity that you desire to partake in will feel lighter. It will not feel as intensely draining. It will not feel as physically demanding because you are expending more energy on a regular basis, just walking around, just being you, just being. You are vibrating at a higher frequency and this requires more energy. More energy is moving through you and this can feel fatiguing. This can feel draining from time to time and your desire to partake in very heavy physical activity will not be quite the same as it was before. Do not be hurt on yourself. Do not wonder why you are not enjoying the things that you used to enjoy. This is all part of the process. This is all part of the change that you will begin to experience. Allow it to be what it is. Do not attach meaning to it. It does not mean anything about you. You are shifting and changing and allow your interests to shift and change along with you. Your body will shift and change as you shift and change. And this is all part of the process. You may start to find that at this time, you crave activities that are more peaceful. You crave environments that are more peaceful. You do not, like, do not like the same amount of tumultuous noise and chaos around you as you once were able to tolerate. And this is okay. This is normal. This is also part of what you are now craving, which is peace, which is a meditative environment, which is calm and serene, a place where you can be more alone with your thoughts. You might find that you no longer enjoy being in large groups of people. You no longer enjoy talking about the minutia of day-to-day -day life. You prefer to be more introspective and this is what your mind and your soul and your body is asking of you. Go with it. Be okay with this. This is not a sign of lower frequency or depression or anything of that matter. It is simply what you need at this time. You are being asked to turn inwards. You are ask, being asked to be intro, more introspective so that you can begin to understand yourself better, that you can begin to tap into your own energy, your own frequency, and become more accustomed to it so you can understand yourself better and begin to uncover who you truly are and why you truly are and what your new connection to yourself will begin to be. We ask at this time that you be okay with change. You will be experiencing a lot of changes and a lot of fluctuations in how you're feeling physically, how you're feeling mentally, and how you're feeling emotionally over the coming months and or years. And this is normal and it will feel different and it will feel scary and it will feel new, but this is all part of what ascension is about. And we ask that you be patient with yourself. We ask that you seek help when you are unsure of how to navigate this newfound way of being. And we ask that you trust. Trust the process, trust how you're feeling, trust yourself, and do not push yourself to do things that do not feel good. You are being asked to shift what you do, who you are, and how you be for a reason. And this is all being done for you. You, in fact, are the one that is leading the way. Your soul is asking you and guiding you to be different and to do things differently. And so do not fight your newfound impulses, go with them, allow them to be there and see where they take you. 
allow it to be a fun process of new navigation rather than a scary process of wondering why and feeling disconnected. Being outside will be one of your greatest options at this time. The sunlight will offer much for you at this time. Bask in it. Do not be afraid to go out into nature. You will feel the energy around you very inviting and you will understand why you have been craving more silence and more time to yourself and you will feel at peace in these places where you may have felt overwhelmed or anxious in the silence previously. You are changing and you are adapting and you will find new interests in places that you did not feel them before. The ocean will also be calling to you. You will feel the energy and frequency of the water and of the waves and of the motion of the ocean and we ask that you feel drawn to where you desire to be, to sit by the water and to feel the energy around you. You may feel more clear-minded when you are near the water and you may feel more at peace when you're near the water. And this is also normal. And we also invite you to explore this new interest in this new way of being when you are near the ocean. We ask at this time that you follow where you are being led. You are being led to these places and to this new way of being for a reason. And it is only for your highest and best. Do not be afraid. Do not feel resistant. The more resistance you feel, the harder it will become. And it will be like pushing against a wall that is closing in on you. Allow yourself to be open to changes and allow yourself to be open to shifts happening in you and around you. People will come into your life and people will fall away from you. And this is all for you. What would life be if it were always the same? What would life be if things never changed? How would you learn? How would you grow if things were always linear, if there were never any ups and downs for it is the ups and the downs that shape you and mold you into who you have become and who you will become. And this is all happening for your highest and best and not because the world is against you and not because you are a victim of your external circumstances, but because you wanted to experience as many different ways of being as possible when you decided to come here. And this is your opportunity to embrace that desire that you hold deep within you, but that you might be afraid of deep down without realizing it. But we are calling you forward. We are calling you forward into a new time and into a new way of being, into a new future for who you are and who you desire to be. This is an exciting time and we ask that you be patient as you begin to navigate these new changes that lie ahead of you. But we are always here for you. We are always around you and we will be here to lead you and guide you when you are feeling lost. Finally, I want to add, if you are feeling stuck, if there's something is not feeling right, please listen to your gut. Please listen to your intuition. Please follow what is feeling right for you because what is feeling right is right. And it is no longer a time of pushing through what isn't working. This is no longer a time of trying to make things fit that are not meant to go together. Follow the path of least resistance because this is the path that you are being asked to be walked. Trust in the divine plan that you have written for yourself and trust in the divine beings that are around you all the time. You are a child of divine creation and you did not come here to feel like you do not have options and opportunity. You came here to play and to learn and to grow. And part of that requires that you let go of all of the things that have not been working for you. Embrace something new, even if new is not certain. And that can be a very scary and frightening for you. We ask that you trust in what you're feeling rather than what you're thinking 
and allow your heart and your soul to guide you forward in a way that you have not allowed them to do before. They will not lead you astray. You will not lead you astray. How can you learn to be like the bird and soar high and see the experiences that you are undergoing from a higher perspective and see that they are actually working for you rather than against you? How can you begin to trust your path when you cannot see where it is leading you? How can you begin to trust in how you feel rather than what you perceive with your two eyes? How can you begin to let go of your uncertainty and of your inhibitions and allow life to guide you effortlessly forward to what you deeply desire deep within you, knowing that what you want is possible and that you are in fact limitless. The only limitations that you perceive are always within your own mind and they will always hold you back if you allow them to. Now is your chance to let go and to see what is truly possible for you. We invite you forward. Please join us. Thank you for your time.